What's up guys? It has been a little minute. Hobbs and I are, uh, we're back in fitness culture. You can see we're cutting hair behind us. Yeah, we got a barber shop in our gym. Um, so right now, we're middle of December and come January, you know, everyone at that time is trying to get their fitness on. It's like, and I've, I'm including in this because with Biggest Loser, Mexico, traveling, kind of like looking forward to a new year, getting on a training program. I'm actually gonna be starting this program a little bit earlier. We're gonna be doing a workout for you guys today. But basically what we're gonna be doing is our 20 for 20 challenge come January is going to be a contest that we're running with Fitness Culture. I'm gonna be doing the same program that everyone else is gonna be doing. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting back to one of my favorite training splits. Push, pull, legs, day off. Push, pull, legs, day off. So basically we're gonna be training the entire body twice in that eight day span. Now, all of our programs at Fitness Culture are based on a concurrent periodization training program. So basically what that means is instead of just training for one goal like strength constantly throughout your, your training schedule, you train for different things. Hypertrophy, we train for obviously strength, power. Doing this actually shows that you know, you're able to get stronger and bigger. So it's one of those things that we do because it just makes training a lot more fun. It's, it's basically, instead of doing, oh, three sets, eight to 12 all the time, from, from earlier on in the week to later in the week, you're gonna have a different set of rep schemes, uh, different tempo, different exercises. So we find that it's not only a lot more fun, but you actually get more bang for your buck in results. So that's the training program that I'll be following. You guys can jump in on this as well. And basically we're gonna run it two different ways. You guys can either do it to get leaner, which is gonna be, there's gonna be cardio options, and then obviously your nutrition. Everyone gets nutrition with it. If your goal is to get leaner within the app, you'll be able to you know, change that accordingly. So your macros will really reflect a plan that is gonna get you leaner. If you're trying to gain weight, gain size, obviously less cardio, more calories, more protein, fats, carbohydrates to get you bigger. Now, you guys will be able to determine how fast you do that within the app. We have, you know, basically we break it down, what's your activity level, you know, your age, your height, your body fat, all of that stuff. So you're, you guys aren't guessing. We take the guesswork out of it. You guys just plug in all of those numbers and then we give you guys these macros for that. So it's gonna be a really intense program. I need it more than anything. And you guys are gonna see today, today's gonna be a fun training session. These workouts are gonna be intense earlier on in the week, a little bit lower reps, a little bit lower volume. And then we come back and do more of the, you know, I would say Arnold style training programs, which is that higher volume crazy pump. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. And that's why I've always liked training like that. I like getting stronger. I like, you know, even when I was prepping for a show, I like actually getting stronger through my prep or at least maintaining through my prep. And that's, that's kind of feel like what I've been missing is this, is this kind of training program. Um, so it'll be fun getting back on that. And definitely you guys check out fitness culture. Um, you guys don't have to follow this program, but it's the one we're recommending for everyone. So let's jump into today's workout. You ready to work out? You ready to work out? No, you're not. All right. All right, first exercise we're gonna be doing, bench press. Big surprise, I know, but what we're gonna be doing different is close grip. So you can see Jake here, he's going pretty much right where the bar starts getting rough. That's his grip there. That's a good, probably uh, two to three inches more narrow with each arm here. So again, this is gonna be working a little bit more triceps, less even anterior delts, but then a lot of chest. We got two warm-up sets, and then we're working three working sets, six to eight reps. Again, the setup is going to be the same, keeping our chest nice, nice and big chest, rib cage expanded, going down to our sternum here. So make sure, I know you guys are going to want to at your gym, you know, you're going to say, Steve, I'm not as strong doing close grip bench. We're getting you stronger here. If you're going to be stronger in the close grip, we're training muscles, you're going to get you stronger for your normal bench. So stick with this, and again, this will change in the coming weeks. With our bench press, we're going to be doing a little shoulder health exercise with an off the knee rotation. You can see Jake's using four seconds on that way down, really controlling it. This isn't about moving a heavy weight, this is about getting our shoulder stability better. So, you can see Jake keeping his elbow on the knee, his foot is brought up as far towards the butt as possible, so it's that nice 90 degrees in that elbow. 
And we're doing these in between eight reps each arm here. We're just doing three sets of eight reps in between our, our working sets for bench. the last set, which is also the best set if you were wondering. So make sure you go to failure on this. Leave nothing in the tank on this one. Six in the close. 2020 will be the, the year that I, I get back to benching 420. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. I just threw the gauntlet down. I'm going to bench 420 and 2020. And don't make Steve's going to get high this year, okay? I'm going to bench 405 in 2019, December. What is it? For six right now. Oh. Good luck. Right. Let's go. Get it now. Come on. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Let's go. Right. One more. I got, we got to go to failure. You didn't get it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. You guys made it through your first set on the program. Um, next up, we got push press. Push press, a lot of anterior delt. We're going to be doing a push press and then coming back to chest. So, really focusing on all push muscles today. The one thing that we're going to be doing, you know, we kind of threw a wrench at you with that bench press movement going close grip. The wrench we're throwing at you guys here, besides the push press, is the negative part. So the eccentric part of the lift here, we're going to be doing three seconds on the way down. So warm up if you need to warm up on this one. If you're feeling fresh, because we just did chest, which also works anterior delt, you can jump into your working sets, but I'd re maybe recommend one set to kind of get down the, the movement. Um, we're going to be doing three, three sets. Six to eight reps. Again, this is our strength day. Six to eight reps on this with a three count lower. So dip, press, bite on the way down. So let's talk a little bit about a front rack position. I know a lot of people that, you know, a lot of people that don't do any kind of Olympic lifting might not have the best front rack position. I don't really have the great of a front rack position, but we're gonna try to get our elbows as high as possible. You know, this would be a better front rack, but I can't push up from here. You know, so I'm gonna have to come underneath the bar go from here. So, abs tight, dip, press, fight it on the way down. Yeah, Alright, with our push press, we're going to be doing the only pull movement today. Now, shh, I know it's a push-pull leg split, but because we're doing so much pushing today, we're just shoulder health. Again, we're not going to failure on this exercise, but basically what it is, the face pull. Now, you can do a rope here, or what we have here attached to a cable. Biggest thing here, lean back, and come back as far as you can. This is gonna be all those, all those little muscles in the back. So in between, again, just like the off the knee rotation, we're not going to failure here. We're not, you know, trying to exhaust the muscle. This is just helping balance all that pressing we're doing. up on our pressing day incline dumbbell press so by now you don't need any warm-ups so we got three sets six to eight reps again this is our rep range for the first part of the week later on in the week with our second push day a lot more volume so be prepared for that today tempo on the way down basically just a, a natural tempo supersetting that with a lateral raise lateral raise 
eight to 10 reps. So a little bit higher on that lateral raise, but still nothing too crazy. Yeah, let's go. Heavy dips, we then have an easy bar or a straight bar. So now with our heavy dips, we're supersetting a front raise. Now you can go easy bar or straight bar, but palms to the air, just straight out ahead of you, working that anterior delt. Last thing, we're saving the best thing for the last thing. We got skull crushers. <clears throat> we're gonna superset this with a fly. So a chest and a tricep movement. This is more of a compound, you know, it's really, it's hard to say compound. Compound movement includes two joints. This one's shoulder and elbow pretty much. Um, whereas our fly, we should be keeping our elbow joint at the same angle the entire time. So we're gonna start off with the tricep skull crusher. One more. Uh, one more. One more. One more. One more. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Woo! Hey, these these are my kind of workouts. I love these. But later on in the week, we will have shorter rest times and things, and just a lot of blood being pumped. That being said, you guys need to check out Fitness Culture. So, so we're picking 20 people in 2020. Those top 20 people get $500 plus the app and some swag, some fitness culture stuff. Then, if you're in that top 20 and you're in the top 10, you're actually gonna get even a little bit more. And then if you're in the top three, you're gonna be actually invited out to our fitness culture retreat. Stay tuned for more on, to come on that. So go over, click the link in the bio. It's a good chest day, good shoulder day. It's been, don't tell anyone, but it's been like a week since I've actually worked out hard. So I'm feeling like this is a really big victory for me and I take off to Australia where I'll be continuing to do these. So I'm coming to you guys, dedicating back to this. This program is one of my favorites, like I said. So I think you guys will really like it. Thanks for watching.